Well, hopefully this time I have a bit of a better connection. Um, I always seem to have a, a connection problem the first uh, first time I try to connect up, so I hope that this time it works. Just wanted to do a very, very short, quick walkthrough on how I've set up my vent windows in the greenhouse to switch over for winter. So I'll try to pan up. You can see here I have two of them on this side sealed up already. And across the top there, all the way over and above the, the uh, door there as well. In the summer, those are all open vent windows because the greenhouse itself was designed for winter, um, but I do convert it over for summer use. And that's, uh, that's a really nice thing to be able to do, to use it all year long, especially when our winters are minus 40 Celsius and our summers are plus 30 Celsius. So the greenhouse needs to go through a lot of changes throughout the year. So I have one left to seal up, so I thought I'd just show this to you. It's just a plexiglass window, and um, this opener actually has a hydraulic um, cylinder on it. So during the summer, let's see if I can get it to pop open, it automatically opens. I'm forcing it right now. It doesn't really like that either. But um, during the summer, it opens by itself and vents out the greenhouse for me as needed. So if it's just slightly warm, it opens a little bit. If it's a lot warmer, it, uh, it opens quite a, a wide ways and that's for all of the, the windows here. But obviously in winter, having a big, big uh, plexiglass space like this at minus 40 outside is just not going to cut it. Um, I need to save as much heat as I can. I mean, the back wall is insulated. Oh geez, we have a lot of uh, Finland in Thunder Bay actually, it's wonderful. Um, but you can see here like the, the greenhouse is really really insulated all the way through and those pipes, I could talk about those another time, those actually go down to a, a heat sink that collects all the solar heat all day long. But uh, what happens here is I end up in the winter taking this off, just actually unscrewing it completely from the window. And then I, I would latch it closed, obviously. You can see at the top seam here, look at all the condensation, because it's actually below zero outside um, in the evenings now, and even all day, it's very cold. So there's a lot of condensation happening. You can see down here that's actually ice. Let's get rid of that bit of ice there. So it's time to seal the windows up. What goes into them is very, very simple. It's this guy here. It's kind of my own little design. So you can see there's some foam um, sealant here, just some sticky foam sealant, um, about four inches of a pink, uh, so a high insulating styrofoam, and then the board, and then when I've just got these little knobs to help pull, pull it in and out. So all I need to do is take off that uh, opening arm, latch the window closed. It's got that little bit of um, weather stripping at the top as well to help seal it. And you can see here, there's actually a ridge. So I planned that in. That's where the foam sits, gets squished in against there. And then when the panel is in, all I have to do is just twist these little wing nuts here. So that's how easy it is to convert all of my vent windows in this greenhouse from summer to winter. I usually do it sequentially as it gets colder in fall, leave a couple open as the days are getting a bit cooler, but it's still a little too hot. And, um, then I just move on. So that's how I do everything there. And this one will go in as very, very quickly. Just four screws, take the one off, click it on, put this in, and voila, it's already sealed. There's no major work to be done. And that's exactly what I did for all of the others up at the top and the others across here. So yeah, this greenhouse will be good for winter. It's already zero outside, but as you can see here, all of the winter crops are starting to come up and so I'll be eating fresh greens even at Christmas when it's uh, it's a very typical chilly Canadian, northern Canadian winter. So if you have any questions about that, you can find me on my blog. You can send me a tweet about it, ask whatever questions you'd like. Um, my blog is growingnorth.ca and you can find me on Twitter for, uh, at growingnorth. So if you need to ask